running through El Paso, the Union Pacific train ride had comfortable seats and a great view. Invited guests got the opportunity to ride the rails from El Paso to see the progress of the Santa Teresa facility. Through the yard, over the river, and into the desert, passengers got their first glimpse of the construction site. Expanding almost 12 miles sideways instead of up, Union Pacific expects an increase in the number of construction workers. We have several hundred uh, construction workers that are working on site. Um, eventually we will hit about a thousand people at the peak which we'll expect will happen somewhere in late 2013, early 2014 and as we're getting ready to open in uh, 2015 you'll, you'll go back to seeing a couple hundred uh, construction employees. The New Mexico Border Authority is working with regional directors to set up the infrastructure that'll be needed once more businesses move in. If you don't have the main grid in, your, your highways, your roads, your water, your wastewater, your sewer plant, then as this development blossoms, you know, as UP grows, you have to have all that infrastructure in place so that the rooftops, the housing, everything has to be here so that the growth can be very well planned. Union Pacific invested $400 million into the Santa Teresa facility and are hoping for half a billion dollars in investments. Amanda Orozco, News 22.